Hey there, 4K video is cool. The new iPhone and the GoPro can shoot it in 60 frames per second now. Cinema cameras can go all the way up to 8K. That are quite a lot of pixel. But what about the next step? Can we go higher again? How big is 16K video? The short answer is, it's big. The video you're watching right now is made in 16K. Even though, as of time of recording, YouTube will only show you 8K in the quality settings and can't even process 16K. You can check the statistics for nerds to see the actual resolution. But let's take a closer look and start from the beginning. Do you see this tiny rectangle in the middle? That's 1080p, basically your phone screen. This used to be the standard resolution for videos for the past years and it's still fine to use it today. It's not very crisp however, so let's go up to UHD or 4K for the sake of marketing. It's twice as wide and twice as high as 1080p and it is going to be the next standard for web video as it is more and more widely used and supported. Yet, it's still very small compared to 16K. So let's go up one more step. Welcome to 8K with 7680 by 4320 pixels. Only a few cinema cameras can manage this many pixels in high frame rates, but Tokyo plans to broadcast the Olympic Games 2020 in 8K. That seems far-fetched, but YouTube is already supporting this technology for a few years now even though most people don't have the right camera or display for it. And yet, this is still only a quarter of 16K. So let's fill up the entire screen. Here we are, 16K, over 132 million pixels at a resolution of 15,360 by 8,640 pixels. I think Marquez and Linus would be happy about it. For everybody who didn't fall along completely, 16K is 64 times larger than 1080p. Think about how much bigger this is. If you scale down a real car by a factor of 64, it ends up at about the size of a Matchbox toy car. Or let's say sprinting a football field in 10 seconds equals the processing of 10 seconds of 1080p video. Processing 10 seconds of 16k video would then equal sprinting 64 football fields in still only 10 seconds. That's kinda crazy, right? But let's be honest here. This resolution is far from being well supported and even further from being actually used. I talk about problems and limitations while working with this resolution in a different video. You can find it in the notes below. But it will be in good old 1080p again, simply because exporting 16k videos is a bit of a nightmare. That's it for today, and if you don't want to miss future videos about YouTube and tech, you can click on the button on the left to subscribe to my channel. Most of my videos will be in German, but I often provide English subtitles. You can check that out on two of my older videos. Until next week, take care, ciao.